Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the Record Store Day 2021 Drop 2 main video. So this is going to cover pretty much almost everything that is on the July 17th Drop 2 list. I am hoping we're going to be able to get this video done before the lights go off because there is a massive monsoon slash dust storm going on out there. So I'm going to give it my best crack. If the end of this video finishes with me wearing a different outfit, you'll know why. Let's start with the 7 inches and the Kasingle. I like the fact that Record Store Day throws in these like they're cool enough that people want them, but they're different. You know, Pearl Jam's Alive, Kasingle. And I also love the fact that they do not have an enormous amount of 7 inches anymore. Record Store Day has really found a way to curb the actual releases, the things people want to buy. The Dirty Knobs. Denzel Curry and Robert Glassberg. St. Vincent. Karen O oh and Willie Nelson doing Under Pressure. Cats by Johnny O'Donnell. Joe Strummer doing Hope. The Studio One boxes are all, always popular. A lot of these are, you know, really high dollar, out of long out of print singles. Get them back in print. DJs love them. Same thing with these Funk and Soul box sets. Soul Jazz Records. The leading sound in today's music, Funk 70. So, yeah, that is it for what I have with uh, regards to 7 inches and non 12 inch stuff at the moment. Almost everything has arrived. Some stuff, though, has not. But let's take a look at what we got. Love. Everybody's got to live. This is some outtakes. Uh, so album version of Everybody's Got to Live and some outtakes and alternate takes of uh, some other tracks. Kristen McBride Trio out there. I'm probably going to grab this myself for Record Sword. I have not yet. Uh, this is numbered on the back. This is 1171. The Wojek Tech Mazawaski Quintet. Poke Alive. MTB. Consenting Adults. Look at that. Mastering for Vinyl and Lacquer Cutting by Bernie Grunman. Criss Cross Jazz Records. This is an Elemental Music release. That might be pretty good. Stevie Moore, On Earth. This is on Speckled Vinyl. Double LP, Digital Bonus Tracks, also known as Splatterwax. The Monkees, Missing Links. You've got Missing Links Volume 1, 2, and 3. So let's see, Missing Links, let's see, these are all done by Friday Music. I want to say that these were originally on Rhino, weren't they? The original, you know, reissue label is no longer doing their reissues. Friday is doing the Rhino reissues. That's interesting. All right, Frank Marino and Mahogany Rush, Volume 2. It's got a little bit of an embossed cover. Kit Moore, live from Grimey's in Nashville. This is a four song EP, live EP. Joey Mahalan, be true to yourself. Anil Morricone, El Bandido, Dagli, Ochi Azuri. Or something to that bare effect. This is limited edition transparent blue vinyl. I absolutely love Neo Morricone. If it had not been for the Star Wars franchise, I think he would have been considered the greatest, uh, the greatest of all time as far as uh, you know movie scores and soundtracks. But hard to discount Star Wars. Okay, The Matrix. This is the complete Matrix 44. Complete Matrix 44 extracts. 
Stunning new art design and exclusive composter interview. Holy cow. It's like the Wizard of Oz out there, guys. All right, Randy Newman box. Just got this in. A lot of people asked me to do an unboxing on it, but it just came. Figured it was kind of too late at this point. So you've essentially got the studio albums from 79 to 2017. Roll with the punches on none such. Actually, this is a pretty solid deal. It's 110 bucks. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and maybe that's a double, so seven albums possibly inside of there. Music from the Motion Picture Oceans 11. This is limited to 2,500 copies. Let's see, I don't, God, I don't even remember seeing this movie. Percy Faith, Handsome Modeling Boy, Perry Como, Arthur Lyman, Elvis. Yeah, this is quite a uh, eclectic bunch of music. I think I've seen this once when it came out in the theater. I think on me and my wife's very first date, we rented Ocean's 13. I don't remember the movie for reasons I won't discuss on YouTube, but I know I've seen this once and I saw the other movie in uh, the background. So yeah, couldn't tell you really about either one of those. The Return of Richard Pryor, 1968 debut on a picture disc. This is, uh, this is a squirrely list for Record Store Day Drop 2. There's some strange stuff on there, and uh, yeah, this qualifies. Uh, I'm just glad they did the debut album and not uh, some of his later titles, if you know what I mean. Okay, Pearl Jam Alive. This is, to go with the single, side one is four tracks. And side two is the etching. Pink Freud. Piano Forte Bruto Netto. Yeah. Not a clue. But uh, yeah, might be worth a listen to. Johnny Paycheck. Uncovered the first recordings. This is Ann Peebles. This looks like I'm not a really a big John Prine fan, but this is a pretty solid looking box set. Limited to 12,500, really well done. Nice foiling on both sides of the box. They're all numbered in like a matching foil there. This is 7,771, four disc set. It's uh, essentially two complete live shows. A lot of John, John Prime related releases. Here is another one. Here is uh, Stay Independent, The Oh Boy Years. And oh boy, are those old oh boy albums expensive. PE, The Best of Suburban Noise Years. Pivris. Use me, record store date, store exclusive. Queen and Adam Lambert includes I Want It All, live in Tokyo, half speed mastered at Abbey Road. What's this say? Includes a Freddie Mercury seven inch pink vinyl. Oh, yeah, look at that, right on the back. I didn't even know that was included. First time I've actually seen a lot of these titles. You know, I didn't process the list. Uh, my wife and one of the other employees did it with her. Susie Quattro, live and kicking. White vinyl. Did an unboxing video on this. I always dig the yearly Ramones release. This is a live show from 1980. Toby Reed, in the light. Limited to 1,200 copies. Royce de 5.9, The Allegory. Yeah, okay. 
Did an unboxing on this, the Rolling Stones Hot Rocks 1964-71. to 71. This is a double disc yellow vinyl variant. It is $51, so you get twice as many discs for half the price of the Lit It Bleed release from uh, last year. Yeah, so can't forget to get my uh, Lit It Bleed dig in the video every chance I get. Let me see, Lou Reed. Set the Twilight Reeling. First time on vinyl in 20 years. Limited edition of 9,000. I'm a huge Lou Reed fan, but you know, in all honesty, I can't tell you if I've ever even heard this album. Let's see. It includes such hits as Sex with Your Parents, Part 2. Hookie Wookie and The Proposition. So, yeah. The Sweet. Platinum Rare, limited to 2,000 copies. Metallic Silver Vinyl. Shinturo Sakamoto, The Feeling of Love. Looks like a four track EP. Swollen Members. Record Store Day 2021 exclusive, greatest hits, 10 years of turmoil. Cindy Station, Trouble, Heartaches, and Sadness, rare cuts from the Fame Session Masters. Made in Germany on stateside. The Michael Schechner Group, two disc set live at Manchester Apollo 1980. Let's see, yeah. Lindsay Sterling, Lose Your Now. She had a release maybe three or four years ago that was limited to 650. Every single copy was autographed. One of the coolest record store day releases I remember. This is etched vinyl. Saigon, The Greatest Story Never Told. How do we know it's the greatest story if it's never been told? I don't know how that works, but I'll take their word for it. The infamous String Dusters, featuring 10 iconic covers, including songs written by The Cure, Daft Punk, Tom Petty, Johnny Cash, and more. Man, oh man, I don't think I've ever heard those four names mentioned one after another before. That's, uh, yeah. This uh, could be an interesting listen. Just Ice. Back to the old school. Got Just Ice and DMX. Just Ice and Buster. And Cool DMX, yeah. 35th Anniversary Limited Edition. I'm sure this will be popular. Get on down. Yeah. The Selector, live in Coventry, 1979. Slightly Stupid and Friends, live at Tri Studios. This is a four disc, looks like a quad folding LPJ. It looks pretty well done. Nice uh, purple metallic foiling. This probably would have made for a pretty interesting uh, unboxing video. St. Paul and the Broken Bones performing Half the City live at Avondale Brewing Company. Ah, yes, this was actually the first box of Record Store Day Drop 2 titles I got, and maybe five or six people were in the store laughing at me like, why in the world did you order so many copies of Donna Summer's Bad Girl? Let me tell you what, I'm going to sell every single one of these copies of Donna Summer's Bad Girl. And uh, you just do not see clean Donna Summer albums. You get it's like you get them all the time. They're always trashed, you know. Ground up coke in the grooves from parties of yesteryear. I mean, the whole the whole thing. You know, you just they're not clean. You just don't find them clean, and they're not in print. Not the good albums. You're not finding bad girls and hits on the radio aren't in print. So if these don't all sell for record store day. They'll sell shortly after. 
it's definitely not a flipper record. It is a record for people that want a clean copy of that album. The Sisters of Mercy, BBC Sessions, 1982 to 1984. Small Faces, Complete Greatest Hits. Oh, look at that. It's got a signed postcard by Kenny Jones. All the Decca and Immediate Singles Remastered on Red, White, and Blue Mod Vinyl. There we go. There's a nice spin. It is Mod Vinyl. What do we have here? The Elephant Orchestra, David Soldier and Richard Lyre. Boy, you know, what in the world is going on here? Some covers, just you look at a cover and you like want to buy the record. Sometimes I'll preview these things on Spotify. Sometimes I'll just buy this. Now, this is the first time you ever seen this cover, but looking at this, like, look at that cover. Look at the back. Like, I'm going to, I got to try this. What, what, what is this? Elephants in the Thai jungle playing specially designed musical instruments. The elephants improvise the music themselves. This is essentially an album of elephants playing music. Holy cow. You want to talk about Record Store Day squirreliness? We've got some right here. Oh boy. Okay. Might have to give that to listen. Probably still better than the Shags, right? Although I play the Shags periodically in the store. It's kind of Kind of funny. Gets quite a reaction. Tad's Inhaler. If you're not familiar with the Shags, go on uh, YouTube and type in the Shags, Philosophy of the World, or maybe Halloween. And imagine walking into the in-groove and that's playing. It happens quite frequently. If you visit the store, you might not have to wonder. You could be one of the lucky people to come in and get to hear it. Brown Acid, 10 Heavy Hits, Volume 1. Yeah, the shags grow on you. First couple of times I listen to it, I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Shortly after that, I find myself going back, putting it on. Various, let's see, songs from the astral plane. Jonathan, Richmond, and the Modern Lovers. Oh boy, is this limited. This is limited number 133 of 500. So, yeah. This is going to be extremely hot. War. The 50th anniversary. So essentially, we have five albums from 71 to 75. War, All Day Music, The World is a Ghetto, Deliver the World, and Why Can't We Be Friends. Ah, poor Eric. But yeah, I don't, you know, what does it say? First time on vinyl since they're really, yeah, these albums are extremely hard to find, always beat up, and it's nice to finally have some more back in print, even though it's a record store they only release and they'll sell out immediately, and then we'll go back to not having any. Barney Weiland. This is uh, actually quite good. I did an unboxing on this. Barney Weiland's son actually sent me a copy of this. This is numbered 825 to 2000. He saw an unboxing video I did maybe on previous record store day. Like I actually very seldomly get free records. Maybe like this many free records since I've had a record store. You know, the old days promos owning a record store, label sending you records to play, check this out, we want you to play this in the store and promote it. Yeah, those days are gone. So I was all about getting a free record, but this is actually quite good. It's really well done. It's not expensive. It's 65 bucks for a box set. Now granted, it's one disc, CD. There's like a big thick comic book inside of it. Really, really well done. I, you know, I was exposed to Barney he did the soundtrack to Elevator to the Gallows with Miles Davis. I'm pretty sure he was on that soundtrack. Then throughout the years, you know, it's not common. You're not going to find a lot of Barney Weiland releases in the United States. But Sam's, Sam Records did a couple releases of his, and he's actually quite fantastic. His early stuff to his later stuff. Uh, but, yeah, this is a bonus CD, Previously unissued Radio France live broadcast. This is just pretty well done, and you know it's not something you look at and say, "Oh man, this is a cash grab." When you see the unboxing video on this, it's like there's no way they made any money on this. Putting that comic book together, you know, I've talked to you guys many times about the Wild Times record I'm putting out, and I think we're going to lose if we sell every single copy. We're going to lose some odd like three thousand dollars on that record, but we did it because it was like a labor of love. We wanted to get that music out there. I've talked about it in other videos, but. 
I'll talk about it more in the future when I actually get the record. It's been just a waiting press for about a year now, but it's hectic. But you know, you can definitely tell this is a solid release. Definitely not a cash grab. No way to make money on a box set at 2,000 pieces. Amy Winehouse remixes. This looks like it could be good. I love Amy Winehouse. Oh, I loved, you know, her last album. I didn't care much for Frank, but we'll see how the remixes are. Somebody I always wanted to see live, but never happened. The Water Boys, How Long Will I Love You? Plus three bonus tracks for this record store day release. Wax Poetic. Limited edition clear vinyl, first time on vinyl. Yeah, first time on double LP. Another great soul jazz comp. Deep Studio One cuts. Del Cashier. Oh, excuse me, Del Cashier. The Italian Stallion. Boy, that's. You look at this, right? And then you flip over the record, and you're like, what? what is that? Yeah. Original soundtrack. Party Next Door. The Party Next Door collection featuring Party Next Door, Party Next Door 2, Party Next Door 3, and Party Mobile. It is a party in a box. Four parties, to be exact. Curtis Mayfield, a tribute to. This looks pretty freaking good. Look at the who's who on this. Holy cow. Gladys Knight, Steve Winwood, Whitney Houston, Bruce Springsteen, Eric Clapton, the Isleys, Aretha, B.B. King, Rod Stewart, Phil Collins, Elton, and Stevie Wonder. This uh, could be pretty good. I'm going to have to give that a listen to as well. Get it. Looks like a comp. Of rare soul singles. Also got Ike Turner and the Rhythm Kings. Kiss my ass goodbye. Another John Prine release, a tribute benefiting the Nashville Rescue Mission. So that is a third John Prine related release on just this drop. Sweet for my dukes. So this is a 60-piece orchestra doing a tribute to the legendary hip-hop producer Jay Dilla. Behind the Dykes, Volume 2. I think they did yeah, the first one last year. This is from Music on Vinyl, limited to 3,000. All right. So, let's go to the next row. I actually left one over here on the counter. We've got Smoke Diza and Harry Fraud. Featuring Schooly Boy Q, Action Bronson, Domo Genius, Sean Price, and Currency. This is limited edition Smoke Vinyl. Kings. Tapehead on Svart Records, limited to 2,500. This is hand numbered, actually, in the top corner, on Pink Wax. John Anderson. April March in Cinerama. Ooh, Aliens soundtrack. You know, I actually had got a collection the other day, and I saw this in there. It was like a mint copy. I'm like, oh, man, awesome. Look at that. There's no record inside of it, but yeah. Record store I pressed on acid, blood, yellow, and green vinyl. Fred Armisen, limited to 1,000, produced by Ty Siegel, featuring a custom etching on side B. What in the world is this? I don't know. 
Amigo the Devil. Covers, demos, live versions, and b-sides. I want to be a record store day ambassador. Get my own record. Be good. Kind of a Mike's greatest hits. What do we got here? Allman Brothers Band, The Final Note. So I think this was their final recording. Numbered on the front cover. An odd spot, but they are gold stamped on the front cover. Annie DeFranco. Annie's debut album. What year did this came out? I've actually seen her. It doesn't say. It just says 2021. I saw her in 1997. I was visiting my cousin. I saw Annie DeFranco and Trey Anastasio back to back, maybe within a couple days. This looks really good. Roy Brooks, Understanding. Woody Shaw. Cecil McBee's on this. This is on Reel to Reel. Let's see. Remastered audio transferred directly from the original tapes. Live 1970 from the famous Ballroom in Baltimore. And they were nice enough to put the records on the outside. These big heavy records on these triple trifold sleeves typically cause seam splits. So that's nice to see. Bastille vs. Other People's Heartache, Part 3. Picture disc. We got the Beat Farmers, Glad and Greasy. John Fogarty, Blue Ridge Ranger. Bush. Sea of Memories. I remember when I was in eighth grade, Bush, man, they were super, super hot. I was dating a girl for the summer. She was a humongous Bush fan, and I had to pretend that I liked Bush all summer long. It was agonizing, I'm not going to lie. Badass Mo3. Long live Mo3. I don't know, maybe. Pressed on gold nugget vinyl, limited to 1500 Has the potential to be pricey. These hip-hop albums, it's funny. Five years ago, there was no, it was like indie bands all the way. You get little, like, squirrely things here and there, but jazz releases, yeah, right. Hip-hop releases, few and far between. But now, some of the most popular stuff we're getting for Record Store Day is the hip-hop and jazz titles. Bad Omens, live and unplugged. Used to be swamped with seven inches that never sold. Don't see a lot of seven inches, and when I get them, I almost sell every one. Record Store Day has definitely been fine-tuned to what works. Squeeze. Born Ruffians. Cloudy Red Vinyl. Harold Budd. I know this much is true. Music from the HBO series. I find... With the advent of streaming services, we're actually getting a lot of killer soundtracks. Beastie Boys. Let's see. What is the world going on here? 1985, Return of Their Hardcore Punk Roots. But it has two bonus tracks, including them doing uh, The Doors, Light My Fire. The Clash, If Music Could Talk. Let's see, interview album originally made to promote the release of Sand... Actually, I got a copy of the original version of this in that $100,000 collection I bought. I found it the other day. Zarfe Zarnor. Play the record, read the story, save the day. I wish I was actually into any of these because they are super cool. They look awesome, they're well done. Not my thing, though. The Cure. Wild Mood Swings. Not an easy album to get. But, if you don't mind a picture of this, you can get it now. Cold War Kids, New Age Norms.
Let's see, Canned Heat, Living the Blues. One time pressing, of course, most Record Store Day titles are, at least in the configuration of Record Store Day. But yeah, going up the country, great Canned Heat album. Looking forward to this. I did an unboxing on this, but I still haven't had even time to listen to it. Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, Deja Vu. This is exceptionally well done. Jacket quality, the whole nine yards. Looks really, really nice. It is limited edition of only 20000 so don't wait. But I'll sell out. But don't expect that to be a $200, $300 album with the uh, limited edition of 20000 Miles Davis Champions. These are essentially outtakes from the Jack Johnson Sessions. Oh, boy. Look, the dust storm has turned into a rainstorm. Very rare in Arizona, mind you. And dangerous, because most people here have only driven in the rain once or twice in their whole lifetime. Or it would seem. Dos Justamente Trace. 25-year anniversary reissue, remastered from the original audio source, limited edition colored vinyl. Bob Dylan, Joker Man, backed with I and I, the reggae remix EP by Dr. Breed. Well, Record Store Day really would not be complete without a Dio picture disc, so we've got... A, uh, yeah, 25th anniversary of Angry Machines. What do we got here? Dinner Party. Featuring Snoop Dogg and Herbie Hancock. Boy, what the hell does that sound like? That could be interesting, though. I'm not going to lie. Limited edition of 1500. All I could think of when I hear Snoop Dogg to this day is do you remember the old Snoop Dogg infomercials of him filming Girls Gone Wild videos? I could, every time I, I just instantly pops up into my head. Him drinking a 40, uh, you know, bouncing around while Girls Gone Wild videos uh, were playing. The People Under the Stars. Earth Gang, Stray, Strays with Rabies, all right, double disc, limited to 1,500 units, this is really awesome, I did an unboxing on it, Dr. John, the Night Tripper, 3LP set, kind of the way Dr. John apparently originally intended this album to be released. Let's see, Dave Davies, Bug, first time on vinyl, double pink and yellow, 180 gram vinyl. Dead by Daylight, the official video game soundtrack, cool cover. U.S. exclusive on Black Fine Fog Vinyl, limited to a thousand comp limited to a thousand copies. Look at that. Big old school yellow, uh, metallic foil tag on the back. This is 163 of a thousand. And actually, they put a little sticker on there to seal because it's just a generic Japanese sleeve. And they put a little sticker on there to seal it. This will be popular. First time on vinyl. First time for the first, uh, original mixed color vinyl. Eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. This is when Jim Carrey got serious and the movies got worse because let's face it, Dumb and Dumber is like the mask. Those were his best movies, right? Evanescence, limited to 5,000 worldwide, pressed on gray marble vinyl. The Open Door. Bill Evans, Behind the Dykes. I want to say these titles, these Bill Evans, are getting harder and harder to get every record store day because people are catching on that they're always worth a bunch of money. Now that's number 515, and this is a limited pressing of 5,950. I did an unboxing on this video, on this title as well. You could check that out. From first to last, Dear Diary. Did an unboxing on this Aretha. This I think originally came out on, there was an Aretha 
box set a while back. This is the complete Aretha. This is a great concert, though. First time on vinyl. Sounds really, really good. The drummer's killing it. doesn't give, you know, I don't know if this is Purdy on drums. They don't really give, you know, when I looked inside to try to see who was playing because some of the, like, the drums were spot on, but some of the rest of the band was a little bit wonky on it. She was killer, but it doesn't tell you who's playing in the band, so I don't know. Don't judge a song by its cover. K. Flay. The Blue Ridge Wranglers. I already showed you guys this. Ruthian Friedman. Hurried Life. Fallujah. The Harvest Wombs. Future, EVOL, number one album, limited edition colored vinyl with translucent red and black smoke. Bobby Gentry, The Windows of the World, her 1969 Lost Jazz album. Interesting, that could be good. Let's see, out of print, Gun Club, The Birth of Death. Roy Gallagher, Cleveland Calling, Part 2. And folks, I'm going to show you next what is no doubt to be the absolute hardest thing to find this record store day. And that is going to be this Gorillaz G Collection box set. If you are interested in this, I suggest you start lining up now because this is going to be hard to find, I'm assuming, everywhere. So essentially it's Gorillaz, self-titled Demon Days, Plastic Beach, Humans, The Now Now, and The Song Machine, their last album. But yeah, very, very, very rare. I think they did under a thousand of these. Green Jelly, 333. Mayor Hawthorne, Impressions. Sammy Hagar and The Circle. Picture disc. This looks really good. Roy Hargrove, let's see. First official release in 12 years. Deluxe limited edition of 7,000, hand numbered, cut by Bernie Grumman and pressed at RTI. Looks pretty good. Looking forward to that. Hall and Oates. Get a French import here of Oasis. Hawkwind. Greasy Trucker's Party. Well, that doesn't sound like fun. Hot Tuna. America's... This is a weird album, guys. Remember, it's Hot Tuna. And I say it's weird because it's a weird choice for a record store day release. Willie Jones, right now, limited to 1,500. He is having a very difficult time trying to put out that fire at the moment, it looks like. I don't even know what this is. Contains the hit songs. Pressed on tangerine and aqua opaque galaxy vinyl. KMD, Mr. Hood. Roland Kirk, live at Ronnie Scott's. This looks pretty good. I'm going to grab this for myself. 1963. Jorma Kukarin, The River Flows, Volume 2, on Splatterwax. What is this? Kian, Dirt. Looks like an EP. King's X, Manic Moonlight. 
On Svart Records, number two, 2,500. This is 1,008. Peggy Lee, The World Broadcast Recordings. This is an ORG title. Translucent Pink Wax. Looks like, yeah, from 1955. Lamb of God. Red Splatter Wax. As the places burn. The Lillingtons, the back channel broadcasts. Charles Lloyd, Manhattan Stories. Look at this, we're saving goodies right till the end. This looks really good. Cut by Kevin Gray, limited to 3,500. Includes inserts, rare photos. Also available as a two-disc deluxe CD set. Nobody cares. All right. This is 2756. That is it, guys, for Record Store Day. Drop two so far. I might get a few more titles throughout the week, but not much is left to come, I don't believe. Don't forget, all these titles will be made available online starting at 1 o'clock Eastern Time on July 17th. We open a couple hours early, so if you're local, get here, line up a good time last time we had a lot of fun i streamed the whole entire thing live on youtube i'm gonna do the exact same thing this record store day so it should be uh, good fun yeah so until next time